This is all Agatha's fault! Please calm down, dear. Do not tell me what to do! You shouldn't be here. I wish that I could be accepted into your community. So do I. The wedding's been brought forward. Can't you marry me instead? We can run away together. I must marry her, Jenny. It's what I meant to do. Have you changed your mind about us? I called you over because I think that you let my brother out of prison. Promise me you won't hurt anybody. I can promise you that I won't hurt you. <laughs> and welcome to probably one of my favourite episodes of Let's Play Witches so far because this is going to be the hen party and it's also going to be the part where Marielle is going to ask Dracon if he will get rid of Damien for her and there's a twist she wants him to do it before she actually marries Damien so Dracon is of course I mean probably going to react in a bad way to this because he's just woken up from being cursed for 200 years and he probably wants a bit of freedom. And he's already being controlled by Marielle because that was the deal. I mean, she set him free on the condition that he would help her. So, she's feeling pretty angry, but also flirtatious. Oh, well, she's probably feeling angry at the fact that the wedding's approaching and she just really doesn't want to marry him anymore. And she's, she's been happy now because she's in Dracon's presence. What can I say? Okay, well, they're gonna sit down here, both of them. Um, I have turned autonomy on full, so that might have an impact on what the Sims do because they tend to not listen to me when autonomy is on full, which I think is pretty much the point of autonomy, so there we go. But you will notice that Dracon is also in the same household as Marielle at the moment, and that is because it's really difficult to control the Sims when they just pretty much do whatever they want. So they're both pretty happy, but Marielle's now going to darken the mood and tell him that he's got to murder Damien. Oh my goodness. So, do you think he's going to do it? I mean, let me know in the comments below. But I think the next part is where things are really going to pick up. Because, oh, I have so many things planned for that. But yeah, so Marielle has been up to absolutely no good already. She has already locked Adam in the basement, which is really sad. Because 
Oh, I don't know. He's he's like a little prisoner now. That scene was really hard to film, by the way. It took me so many attempts. But um, no, I'm glad I got it right in the end. I think that it'll be interesting to see how things will progress with Adam and if somebody will find him. I would imagine that after time, maybe it will spark interest of other people as to where he is. It's definitely going to stir some things up, especially when people do find Adam. That's if they do. So yeah, maybe it'll be too late when they do though. Okay, well, anyway, this is an interesting downstairs area. Oh, it's Dracon again. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> so as you can tell, I did replace that custom content painting with him. I just think it looks so much better than the one upstairs. And it's supposed to be like, I guess, an alternate world. That's how I imagine this place anyway. The barman really isn't doing much work. I'm just gonna have to debug him. I'm just like, <laughs> keep doing that. It's really annoying though. Okay, well maybe Dracon could uh, speak to Marielle. Oh, they really don't like each other. Well, that's not good. Maybe he would, oh, lie, give fake bad news. Give fake bad news. Would that apply to Damien's situation? This man literally does anything but work. Just look at him. He is, he's the worst bartender ever. No, really not a good guy. I would, um, zero out of 10 would not recommend. Let's see if we can hire some staff though. Oh, hire Damien Merchant as a mixologist. Now that would be awkward. Maybe Dracon would have a fight with this guy just because he's here and um, Dracon's a little bit outspoken so that's in his nature to I guess disagree with people and also he really has to watch out for himself in this town because people are going to be looking for him everywhere seriously like absolutely everywhere because he is unfortunately very well known he's a celebrity so that's why they would have to meet here as well to keep things a little bit low down but it's pretty obvious because there's like a picture there of him <laughs> so people would recognize him i think i'd be so freaked out if i saw a wanted poster of somebody and then i saw them in real life <laughs> that would be weird why can't marielle get up the stairs i don't understand i don't get it why can't she go to the toilet is anything blocking her i don't know but apparently this toilet's unusable but i don't understand why it doesn't make any sense What's wrong with this top floor? Can you not go up here? Oh my gosh. So, I don't know if anyone else has had this, but I've been having some serious problems with The Sims 4 ever since the city living stuff came about. The game is just so laggy since that. I've tried everything. Yeah, I've tried changing my settings as well, making sure that I'm on the 64 bit mode or something like that. If you see any stuff happening that probably shouldn't be happening, then that's the reason for it. But Mario really needs to go to the toilets. We're gonna sort that out. What is Dracon doing? He's just like ranting and raving in the mirror to himself. Probably considering like whether he should kill Damien or whether he should break his promise with Marielle. And maybe we've just found the person that would actually find Adam in the future. So we've just seen Agatha. She's just here to fish. She's not here to like spy on anybody. You know, Agatha, she likes to do a casual bit of 5am fishing. <laughs> As most Sims do because hey, this town is that random. Oh, another useless bar person. Just what we need, another person downstairs. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the next house and see what's going on there. Hartia's house and this is how she has decorated it for the hen party so she's done a little bit of decorating and um this is what the house ended up like now it's not I guess too changed on the inside I did add a karaoke machine and I also added a little bar area um because this is where Marielle's gonna be spending her night I guess before the big event so yeah it's happening it, it's um it's all here i'm really excited <laughs> so we've got the guests arriving i've already invited them and basically what the girls are going to do is they're just going to have a good time so i guess hearty is going to be making some drinks because hearty likes drink 
and I don't know, I think this is going to be about drinking because it's a hen party, you know, it's not a birthday party. I didn't do it for mine, actually, for my hen party. I had a spa day, so it was like, it was no drinking, it was actually just relaxing before the day. But that's what I wanted and also I'm not a big drinker myself but I know that a lot of people do have these like really big events where they go out with their friends and they have a really good time. Okay so Elliot has just snagged the drink. Well Hearty's gonna be making some more then. She's gonna be like making a selection. We're just gonna get loads on the bar here. And also where's Marielle? She's not even turning up to her own party. Oh this is awkward. Okay, maybe we should get a music machine, and that's what we need. We need a music machine over here. So we're gonna go to electronics, and I think we're probably gonna get the one from The Sims 4 City Living, because I love the stuff from that. Oh, I really do though, it's, I don't know, it's so nice. Listen to Electronica. Do they have anything spooky? Let's see, yeah, listen to Spooky. <laughs> they have Spooky, oh my goodness, this is perfect. A witch party. I know it's like the stereotype, obviously witches and spooky music, and I, I doubt they would. You know, I think that a lot of people that like voodoo and stuff, they would probably just listen to normal music. But, you know, because this is just, let's play witches. I love it, I absolutely love it. And Hortia has got her fairy wings on. Now, I think that during the machinima part, like either after this bit or the next bit, like when we cut to the next scene, she's going to have them off, but just... I don't know, just bear in mind it was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, she's gonna make a drink for Marielle because um, Marielle is the lucky girl. So I guess that Corinne over here is going to be keeping Marielle company, but first she needs to go to the toilet. Oh my gosh. She left it a long time. <laughs> she likes to wait around. Okay, what else we got? Oh my gosh, everyone needs a toilet. Well, they can do that, you know? They can, um, they can do their stuff when the bathroom's free, but I think we only have one in this build. I think we do. No, what is Eleona doing? That's so cheeky, get out of there. That's hearty as closet. What is she doing? You can't do that. Oh, that's awful. Okay, well the idea is that for this party, they're gonna spend the whole day here. So this isn't just like, I guess, a couple of hours of a thing. This is the whole time. So we're gonna even lock this door to make sure that nobody gets out. This is really bad. I love locking doors in this let's play. I swear I lock them all the time. You know, I have no regrets. Never have any regrets to lock the doors because Sims can be really annoying. <laughs> okay, but I'd imagine that Marielle probably hasn't done any planning for her own wedding. And I think that the ones that would have done the planning, well, probably Hartia, probably Amelia and probably Elizabeth. So... You know, there's that. But Hartie would probably be asking Marielle about, you know, how she feels and does she have any last minute thoughts? And Marielle's gonna put on a really brave face. So as you can see, she's like away with dancing, you know, she's having a really good time. And I think that she'd do that because she really doesn't want to draw any suspicion that she's having cold feet. Because if Damien was to disappear, then she would be the first suspect. So she's got to put on a really brave face in front of all these witches. Has anybody noticed this like really weird bat woman just lurking around on the property? I think she's trying to find a way in because <laughs> I saw her around there before. No, she was definitely there. So watch out for Cassidy hair because I think that she's going to try and break into the property. Now, Elian is acting really weird. She's not joining in with anything. So Kareen's up here and she's suffering a privacy invasion. Okay. Well, she's probably gonna go and see her girlfriend downstairs, which is Kathleen. Now, they did actually become girlfriend and girlfriend in the last part. Oh, it must not have saved. And that happened in the machinima, in case you missed it. I think that it's difficult to like read the signals that I sometimes give. I sort of always had it planned for them, but no, I just, I think they make such a cute couple propose. Oh my gosh, you don't have a high enough friendship. <laughs> Maybe just have first kiss then. So, What's going on here? Oh, Eleona is not having fun. What is the jealousy about? Look at this. Like, I'm gonna take a picture of this. What is going on? She looks mad. Wow, okay, she must have some like, history with Kathleen, I'm guessing. Oh, or maybe Corrine. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to find that out. Who's got the history? Nobody. What? That makes no sense. What is wrong with Luna? She's been really weird today. 
But everyone seems to be getting on really well, which is good. And it's nice that we can spend some time with the other girls at the boarding house. It's a nice group. It's a small group, but it's a nice group. Yeah, definitely. Maybe Hattie would invite over Amelia as well, because Amelia and Hattie are, of course, best friends. So that would make sense. And I think that Amelia would have fun. I don't think that the other witches would really want to come. Maybe Tracy would, actually. <laughs> I can imagine Tracy having an amazing time here, but she's probably enjoying like her last moments being in power. The Supreme could pretty much control what they do. They can control what everybody does. So it's really interesting. And it's interesting as well to see how Marielle acts around Vivian because Vivian is the one that is going to take over after Marielle. But she looks really awkward around her. I don't know if anyone else has realized that. They look so awkward around each other. So I would imagine that maybe she sees Vivian as an enemy, even though she has nothing against her as a person, but she just really doesn't like the fact that Vivian is going to take over her role. I mean, it's irritating for her. I'm gonna take a picture of this actually. That's a really good screenshot. You know, is Marielle going to stop Vivian becoming the Supreme? Can she stop Vivian becoming the Supreme? I guess the only way that she could would be resulting in death, but it would be really tricky for her to do that now, especially as Vivian lives with Agatha, with Ledesma. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this part here. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll speak to you all soon. Hartia, is that you? How do you know my name? I must tell the prince immediately. He's been looking for you for so long. Well, obviously I've had too much to drink. I'm heading home. Are you okay? I appreciate you asking. I shouldn't bother you with my problems, though. Well, I don't have any problems of my own. Do you wish that he wouldn't marry her? I wish it more than anything. <laughs>